Good evening and welcome to The Big Fight, a show that is young at 23, the oldest running debate show on Indian news television. I'm Sankir Tupan. So the Congress party managed a decisive win in Karnataka. It was a fantastic victory for the Congress party. They were able to bury their differences, get all factions together. But many analysts say that this was only up until that point where they won the elections. Because after that, for a few days, we did see those differences come out in the open. However, even those, we are being told, have been settled. But the thing is, you see, this is increment and appraisal season, which means the assessment of your performance uh, happens. Your boss does that. And then after that, he gives you a key result area for the next year. What is the KRA for the next year? So for these Congress leaders, uh, the next KRA is going to be Lok Sabha 2024. And for many of these national players in the Congress party, their KRA or examination is only a few months away because there are many other electoral challenges up ahead. So how does the Congress party find itself in this electoral contest? Does this give them the confidence that they need, the might and the muscle that they need to fight this electoral battle, not just in 2024, but also in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. So on the big fight, the big question that we ask is, Karnataka win for the Congress. Do they now have a fighting chance in 2024? I would like to introduce our guests uh, this evening. Shehzad Poonawala is the BJP spokesperson with us. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Geeta Bhatt is a political analyst. Thank you very much for joining us. Jento Ghoshal, senior journalist, is also with us. Madhavan Narayanan, senior journalist, in the studio with us. Uh, we also have Ghansham Tiwari, spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party. Kartike Batra is a political researcher. And Radhika Kheda, spokesperson of the Congress Party. Thank you very much for joining us, all of you. Uh, post this verdict, there is also this, uh, I wouldn't say speculation, but talk on... Uh, whether the Congress can be a little bit more exacting or exert more as far as an opposition unity or opposition space is concerned. Lead more decisively in that opposition space. We're going to discuss all this and much more in this program. But as always, let's begin with what we call the first punch. Shehzad Poonawala, your time starts now. Well, you know, uh, those who are aspiring for a potential opposition unity should factor two, three things in mind. First of all, it is necessary to have party unity and we've seen that the Rajasthan template has now been set in Karnataka where even after the so-called power sharing formula, which isn't a people serving formula, there has already been a Mr. Patel, there has been a Parmeshwara, there has been a DK Suresh who have come out and said that we do not accept this formula. Now we've seen Rajasthan, we've seen Himachal, we've seen Chhattisgarh where Congress versus Congress is happening, happening at a regular alarming regularity and intervals. And therefore, what the Congress needs to first begin by is to ensure that its own house is in order and uh, different organs of the Congress stop fighting firstly because it is all about the chair and then the promises go behind and the people's promises are behind and only the posts and positions are what is fundamental for the Congress. Secondly, one must also realize that in 2018, the Congress party had won uh, in Rajasthan, they had won in Chhattisgarh, they had also stolen our government in Karnataka and yet in 2019 the results in the okay. Lok Sabha were completely different sure. and therefore those who were calling this election local, local, local till yesterday, when they are now enthusiastic in drawing a national implication it only shows that this is overconfidence okay. exemplifying Okay, okay fine. Your one minute is up, Radhika Khera I will come to you and you will have your right to reply <laughs> and your say uh, abundant amount of time will be given uh, to accommodate your view. Professor Bhatt. Well, uh, Sanket ji, uh, every state has got, you know, its own dynamics and uh, Karnataka is, has got one template. So, uh, similarly, Rajasthan will have a different template and so forth and for Chhattisgarh and so on and so forth. For example, in Chhattisgarh, uh, you see, whatever was promises which were made by the, uh, by the government, Bhagel government when they came, uh, they talked about liquor ban, but till date there is no liquor ban. In fact, the government is uh, earning revenues worth uh, 7,000 crores every year out of liquor. Uh, similarly, various uh, unemployment uh, 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 money which was to be given, uh, that also has not been provided and so on and so forth. Now, if you look at 2024, uh, the mobilization of the opposition party, which, uh, which already some of them have started in, in, for example, in the form of third front, 
that third front itself if you look at the Karnataka template, JDS is considered to be a part of the third front and uh, the Congress win in Karnataka actually has damaged uh, the, uh, the you know voting pattern uh, of uh, JDS. 22 Muslim uh, contestants were put forward by JDS, all of them have lost and vis-a-vis -vis, if you look at Congress, out of 15, I think 9 or 10 of them Muslim okay. candidates have won. So ultimately it is the Congress which sure. actually has damaged the total consolidation of the opposition okay. parties. Okay, yeah, you, you see other. this is a, there is a flip side to this argument also but then we will come to that when we start the, uh, the debate and the discussion. Jayanto Gosha. You know, in Congress, inside Congress, as a journalist, I have observed, I covered Panchmari session, it's a history. Hmm. There is a two school of thought. One school of thought is that Congress is a pan-Indian party. We cannot restrict ourselves only few states where we have strength. We have to file, I mean, put candidates everywhere because we are a pan-Indian party. We should not behave like a regional party. The other school of thought actually in Panchpari, Arjun Singh and they were in the uh, opinion that we should go for coalition. We should uh, forget that old feudal Jamindari mindset. Hmm. So that was the counter argument. Still the debate is on that whether we will go with the regional parties where we do not have the strength. So now the Mamta Banerjee, Nitish Kumar, uh, Kejriwal, all these regional leaders are saying that if you fight uh, election in West Bengal, in other uh, Delhi, Punjab, yeah, yeah. then who will be the beneficiary? Yeah. Because in Karnataka also, if there is a third space, if the polarized situation, Congress versus BJP, then the direct fight okay. and I good not good for BJP. It's an important point but, that you're but, making about opposition unity. That how, but, can, how, but is Congress uh, ready? to sacrifice the seven seats okay, of that Delhi, that, and, and that too armed with the confidence of a victory which after they have this, just got. After okay. this uh, okay. Ma, Ma, victory. Uh, Mr. Madhavan Narayan. Yeah, uh, let me put it this way. Congress is a political party, Indian National Congress, but Congress is, some in a, is an ideology. If BJP is to be compared with Congress, BJP has a strong cultural and traditional and somewhat religious orientation, whereas Congress has a socio-economic agenda mm. of both consolidation and transformation that is not going to go away. So Congress remains relevant as an ideological force. The real question is after Karnataka, has it bounced back as a political por force in a party scenario? Hmm. So uh, let me point out that in Rajasthan and in Himachal Pradesh and in Chhattisgarh, Congress is already in power and Karnataka really gives it a certain impetus that was perhaps lacking. Does it make Congress an, a potential nucleus for opposition unity? I would not say yes right away because of certain factors which Shahzad and others have spoken about, which mm. is that it still has some internal issues to sort out, especially on leadership as well as uh, relationship with uh, regional parties. But let me also say okay, that... Yeah, sir, I'm, I'm going to come back to you because that one minute time is up and also, uh, you know, should we necessarily be looking uh, or extrapolating the result of one state uh, and, and reading it as success in the other? Will that be a correct assessment? Even that can be a subject matter of discussion. We'll come to that. But Ghansham Tiwari, your opening comments. Greetings, Sanket, to you, the viewers, and my fellow co-panelists. Uh, to start in Hindi, Karnatak mein BJP ki naak kat gai hai. <laughs> so, much like uh, in Ramayana, Surp Nakhaz uh, ka, ka ki jab naak kati thi, that set the moment of, of the fight between uh, Ram and Raman. Desh ki janta Ram hai. And... कर्नाटक के चुनाव ने बता दिया कि बजरंग बली कहां खड़े हैं और बजरंग दल कहां खड़ा है सो so, कर्नाटक से जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी की लंका ध्वस्त हो रही है वो केरल में ध्वस्त होगी तमिलनाडु में ध्वस्त होगी तेलंगाना में ध्वस्त होगी और चलते चलते बिहार में ध्वस्त होगी महाराष्ट्र में सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जजमेंट के साथ ध्वस्त होगी इन एसेंस बीजेपी इज लेफ्ट विथ वन बॉइलिंग पॉट विच इज उत्तर प्रदेश and as a result of that, they will unleash massive propaganda and, and straight thuggery on people of Uttar Pradesh. But when BJP does not respond to, to the, the promises it made, does not respond to price rise, does not respond to unemployment, it is going to face this massive, massive anger from okay. people across the country hmm. that we want change. We want a prime minister who stands up, tells the truth. So and you are of the opinion that the change, the process of change has begun. Nakkad with Karnataka. Achha, nakkad uh, 
I'll give you a right to reply on this Nag Khadge comment. Okay, but Karthike Patra. See, electorally extrapolating state election results to national elections is a little risky. Yeah. Election after election, we have seen that. Yeah. But does that mean that the Congress can't take anything away from Karnataka? No, of course not. I mean, you won a very big state. You won a resource-rich state. Organizationally, there are so many lessons for you. Mm. At least at the state level, you now know, which is something that has been known now for some time. But it's just been reinforced that in state elections, the BJP's national leadership, which is a big asset for it, is not as powerful as it is in the national elections so mm. far. Mm. So this has implications for the upcoming state elections, one. Again, does it have implications in national elections? Time will tell. Maybe yes, maybe not. On the question of opposition unity, you're absolutely right. This could be a double-edged sword, right? If the Congress had lost Karnataka, then imagine what Congress's locust and I would have been within the opposition. Would have been really shrunk. But now, now that it has won, you run the opposite risk. Does it feel more emboldened than it should? Again, question that I can't answer. Mm. But things can go either way. Mm. So could this augur well or... Poorly for the opposition, hmm. perhaps the Congress spokesperson okay, can let, get let's, better. Let, let's, and we'll, uh -huh. we'll get to know over the next few yeah. months. But I am generally saying that lots to lots lot of positives for the Congress organizationally. Okay, okay. But electorally, lot needs to be sure. Tested. Radhika Khera, with the with uh, such a vantage point of having heard everyone's view, your view. See, the message from Karnataka is going to go across India. Mm. The message of Bharatiya Janata Party's corruption, the message of their politics of hatred, the message of their incompetence of handling inflation, uh, mm. unemployment, that all is going to spread across. And specifically, like I said, uh, corruption is a very big issue. And so is the politics of hatred, the politics of religion that they play, those cards. That message is going to go across the country. And ma'am here spoke about Chhattisgarh. Let me remind you, ma'am, we fulfilled all the promises. And I'll uh, give you with the numbers. So we promised ki kisan ka uh, karz maaf kiya jayega. That was done with Ganga Jal ki kasam lekar. I was part of that promise. And we... Uh, about 9,500 crore rupees have been wavered off for 18 lakh kisans. We promised English schools, so the government schools, the Atmanan schools are now English medium schools and they're the best in the country. People in Chhattisgarh are uh, withdrawing the children from public schools to send their schools to the uh, government schools. We promised, and plus also, most important, we promised the Kisan that we are going to give them 2,500 rupees per quintal, but we are giving them 2,640 rupees per quintal, which is the highest in the country. The unemployment rate in Chhattisgarh is the lowest in the country. So we have fulfilled every promise, and when you talk about the liquor ban, that will happen. We are not Gujarat, that liquor ban will happen, and then you will get liquor, and people will die. So that is not going to happen. Similarly, the promises so that we made in Rajasthan, where yeah. they have the health scheme. Yeah, well, 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 one moment. Yeah. The, 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 the five okay, years are still not over. Up, but then you can continue. The five years are still not over. The promises will be fulfilled. Coming to Rajasthan, we have fulfilled where the Kisan's uh, loan waiver is concerned. More than 4,000, uh, four, uh, about 22 lakh Kisan's, their loans have been wavered off. We, we've given them good healthcare schemes. The Bilwada model was the best during Corona. When it comes to Madhya Pradesh, wo to waise bhi inki churaivi sarkar thi. this time the Madhya Pradesh people are going to give them a uh, befitting okay, reply. Okay. Now, now my question to you as we begin the big fight. Uh, now that the opening comments are done. Ms. Radhika Khera, you see the Congress faces a problem of uh, perhaps uh, aspirations of many of your leaders coming to the fore. And this happens state after state after state. And then that becomes a breeding ground of what you call Operation Kamal. Right? You look at Rajasthan, Sachin pilot Ashok Gehlot. You look at Madhya Pradesh, I mean one such leader is now with the Bharatiya Janata Party, you lost your government. Chhattisgarh, again, same. You've got a problem going on. In Karnataka also, you had a similar problem. You managed that crisis well. It is a crisis managed, controlled, contained. I do not know for how long. But so far, this is a simmering and a boiling pot. And, and to that effect, I want to ask you this question. Do you feel that uh, you are unable to handle your crisis well? Uh, see, there was this rumor, and I'll say it again. Like, uh, and this is not in the context of Karnataka alone. I'm I'll start with Karnataka, again. and yeah. I'll come back to the rest. Hmm. There was this rumor, even when the elections were on, that there is infighting between Siddharamaiah ji, there is, and uh, D K Shivakumar ji. But we fought together, and that is why we managed to get the numbers that we did get. And BJP tried everything. Hmm. Bajrang Bali. Aapne bhi dekha tha last show that we were here, how Shahzad was reading out, or Jai Bajrang Bali, and all, nothing worked. Hmm. So. Uh, like I said, people are seeing through. They are seeing through that the message will even go to northeast. The elections are there in northeast also. 
when in this year and when manipur was burning the prime minister and the home minister were doing their rallies over there 40 mm. kilometers rallies mm. and uh, the fact like i said these are just rumors agar jhagda hota we would not have got that mandate that we got and coming to chatisgarh okay, yeah now karnataka is done i mean so I'll far as to, i told you to your yeah. credit this crisis has been resolved for the moment i don't know how it will no, play out no there is no crisis but rajasthan okay coming to rajasthan chatisgarh and madhya pradesh yeah. madhya pradesh crisis is gone uh -huh. he is with them the same person who said that bharatiya janata party is the only party in the country which is isi certified hmm. so unko ye mubarak hmm. second we come to uh, madhya pradesh madhya yeah. pradesh and no, uh, sorry pradesh rajasthan, rajasthan and chatisgarh rajasthan. there yeah. is no crisis in chatisgarh yeah. uh, bhupesh baghel ji is leading from the front and there is no crisis at all coming to rajasthan yeah. um, ठीक है सचिन पायलट जी मे हैव हिज वट एवर ही हैज इज थिंग इट्स अ डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी एवरी वन अलाउड टू पुट आउट द व्यूज बट नथिंग हैज हैपन लाइक आई सेड नाउ दे नो दैट द राजस्थान गवर्नमेंट हैज कम अप विद स्कीम्स लाइक द हेल्थ स्कीम वी हैव वेवर्ड ऑफ द फार्म लोन्स द भिलवाड़ा मॉडल ड्यूरिंग करोना हाउ वी बैटल करोना वेन द इंटायर कंट्री वॉज इन शैम्बल्स राजस्थान वॉज परफॉर्मिंग द बेस्ट सो द प्रॉब्लम लाइक आई सेड वो अफवाह जो है ना दैट सेम थिंग हैपन ड्यूरिंग कर्नाटक आफ्टर द रिजल्ट ऑल्सो की ये छोड़ के जाएंगे डी के दैट इज ओनली अफवाह puna wala i want to ask you this question you see one there is a congress model of managing a crisis where uh, one tends to have a very protracted form of negotiation and then later they come up with a solution now the other model is the bjp in this appraisal and increment season <laughs> one union minister has been super demoted the other has been super promoted not a flower pot broken similarly you remove chief ministers and you know dissolve entire cabinets all of that has happened we have seen all of that you know big violent changes that that are engineered which model do you think is correct this where you debate and discuss or yours where you just execute i have been patient for a long time so i'll answer and i'll begin by somebody saying ki hamari nak karnataka mein kat gayi ha 14 17 19 22 23 और अभी जो नगर निगम के चुनाव है उसमें क्या क्या कटा <laughs> रामपुर और आजमगढ़ में क्या क्या कटा मैं अगर कहूं और अगर ज्यादा ना लगे तो मुझे लगता है कि शरीर का हर अंग कट गया है इस प्रकार से उनकी हार उत्तर प्रदेश में करारी हुई है और मैं ये भी कहूंगा क्योंकि हिंदी में उन्होंने बोला है कि ये तो मेरी सबसे बड़ी वैचारिक जीत है कि जो राम भक्तों पर गोलियां चलाते थे जो राम जी के अस्तित्व को नकारते थे आज वो राम जी की हनुमान जी की बात करते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि देश के पटल पर अगर वैचारिक जीत किसी की हो रही है तो वो रोम से हटकर राम पर आने वालों की हो रही है तो मैं इसका तो तह दिल से स्वागत करता हूँ अब आता हूँ एक एक करके इनकी बातों पर देखिए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैडम हैज रिकाउंटेड सो मनी प्रोमिस हिमाचल दे हैड सेट 300 हंड्रेड यूनिट्स ऑफ बिजली विल बी गिवन फ्री इन स्टेट दे इंक्रीज द प्राइसेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड इन हिमाचल वेन अ लेडी a young lady went to ask mr rahul gandhi about the 1500 rupees that has not been given yet mm. and apart from that 3 rupees per liter of diesel was also increased when jairam ramesh was asked about it he was very angry about that question being posed to him perhaps he feels that question should not be asked so i would like to know that uh, the promise is being fulfilled now she said that uh, look we have managed it all of this is rumor then i don't know but have you heard of a gentleman called dk suresh i don't know if he is spreading yeah, rumors kumar's brother oh is he mm. <laughs> I think he is also Lok Sabha MP. I know it could be a rumor. Yeah. We should not believe rumors. But let yeah. me tell you what DK Suresh said. Yeah. And since you are confirming, it's not a rumor. I am not happy. There is some time to go. Matlab the Rajasthan template of political adultery and bigamy has started playing out in Karnataka, where the people give you a mandate for stability and you reduce it to instability. And by the way, Sachin Pilot is a very democratic protest. Then why is it that the Sachin Pilot protest has been called as anti-party? Mm -hmm. And in fact, Mr. Gehloth has charged Sachin Pilot with sedition. And the phones of the MLAs, including a Dalit MLA with Pratap Sol Prakash Solanki, mm -hmm. was put on tap. In fact, they called it even anti-national. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think Mr. Ms. Khera will today condemn this anti. democratic actions by mr mm. ghelot mm. and finally look uh, what is happening and i am coming to what uh, madhavan ji just said uh, he said that the congress represents a strong ideological force that is true sir to some extent they did but sir when they have an alliance with the very same uddhav sena whom they accused in the shri krishna report of orchestrating the mumbai riots they have an alliance with isf in bengal which says that 50 crore 
of one community should die. Then they have a alliance with the IUML, the Muslim League. Then they have an alliance with all kinds of uh, in elements, including OAC between 2004 to 14. What is this ideological force that you're talking about, the Congress Party? So which ideological force is it? So therefore, it has compromised on its ideological force uh, or ideological thought process. And today we are seeing, what we are seeing is, like I described in your Hindi show, mm. is the politics of cap. And this politics of cap means competitive appeasement politics. And the problem lies here. The problem for Samajwadi and TMC, where TMC has drawn a no-go zone for Congress in Bengal, is that it is like sleeping with the enemy now. If Congress comes too close, it will start cannibalizing them. So ironically, you are making friends with the same person who will eventually cannibalize your mm. particular vote bank okay. because of the politics of cap. Mm. Cap is not a reference to anything. Mm. It is just competitive appeasement politics. Okay, okay, okay. We'll come to this very inception-like uh, uh, theory that uh, Shahzad has come up with. We'll discuss that also in just a short moment. But yes, your right to reply. And then uh, I'll come to you, Karthike. Well, because I, you, Karthike made a very interesting point of, uh, uh, of basically, uh, you know, the Congress, while they, they may have greater expectations of themselves post this result, will it be acceptable to other players or not? And I will ask you this question also. Well, yes, two you. things stand out. Look at where we as a country are. Mm. And we, the, remain, the reason I said Ramayan, right? Think of Raman, think of Duryodhan Dushasan, and then think of Brajbhushan Singh. One man accused, jiske, jiske piche Pradhan Mantri khade hai, Amit Shah khade hai, J.P. Nadda kar, Samuchi Bharti Janta Party, Shashtang Pradam karke khadi hai, Smiti Rani jo hai, Bajrang Bali banke khadi hoi hai. Aur humare jo wrestlers hai, jinnohne desh mein, desh ki na kuchi ki, wo aaj jantar mantar pe protest kar rahe hai, inke log dhamka rahe hai, aur aap Supreme Court se le kar ke, Delhi Police tak jaiye, aapke, aapke ko nyaay nahi milta hai. Isi liye desh ko aaj pata hai, Ravan koon hai. Ravan wo ahankar hai, this, this arrogance that I can stand, I can walk into an empty parliament but keep the parliament shut. I can backstab an, uh, a Shiv Sena who has been my long term ally but I can still talk about democracy and, and, and so called NDA alliance. Mm -hmm. I can go and partner with Mehmooba Mufti and still talk about uh, my nationalism and how they are terrorists. I can go and backstab uh, Badal and still say I want to, to run the country. The fact that BJP cannot stand on their promise of black money. The fact that they cannot stand there on their promise okay. of beti bachao, okay. beti... Uh, but my uh, point uh, is, uh, do you think that uh, now you will be able to convince the voter, like you were able to do in Karnataka? Sakit, may I just... By, by you, I mean the opposition. Simple, just may I have one line. Congress, a simple answer. A simple, Congress and the... Yeah, so, so, that's a question. A, a, a simple Haan. answer is... Haan. Who is Ravan there? Rajniti Karvatli, things are shifting. When things shift, a momentum builds. BJP uh, uh, learned in Karnataka, that momentum is not for, for cacophony and not anki. India wanted a prime minister. We got a radio, right? <laughs> People want a prime minister we can speak to, not mm. just hear. Mm. India is, is going to shut out this radio. Mm. We want a prime minister we can speak. Okay, and here is the thing. Uh, how? Uh, one second. Where is your plan? Let's focus Sanket, on your Sanket, state Sanket, of Uttar Pradesh. Sanket, 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 uh, I would take ad hominem certificates, mm. not from a party who campaigned for the only convict under the POXO Act from a political field, Gayatri Prajapati, and when he got convicted, his wife was given a ticket by Samajwadi. Mm. So I may sound like I have polished English, right. but I'm not making sense. And if the Congress is such a beacon of hope, how many seats pray is the Samajwadi party giving uh, the Congress? Please ask them. This is not a this is not Akhilesh an refuses to, to take him on the Sri seat. Rani so we ask, we ask for an we ask for an opposition. Okay, okay, we got, let me let me ask we that ask question. for an you opposition. Do you, we got. My, my point is, is see, Mr. Gancham Tiwari, what party. happens is in the opposition Please space, the point, ma'am, ma one moment, the point that Karthike Batra just made, there will naturally be a greater expectation that the Congress will have of itself post the Karnataka win, right? You will be, you will expect to gain more in UP, in Bihar, in other states, where each of these parties have, have not traditionally. Uh, incorporated you for a very long time, right, and treated you as a party on the margins. How does that coordination happen from here on? A very simple picture. This is, this, this is one newspaper from today. It shows three leaders of Congress party. This is another, another picture. This is the Papad minister who just became the law minister, <laughs> right, with the yeah. prime minister. This is the, this model that I am the Talibani king and everybody has to bow down because the vote only belongs to me. I am telling you, India is tired of electing radios as prime ministers. Mm. We want a real prime minister, not a radio. Okay. Uh, your response and then Mr. Madhavan. Yeah. You know, when you're talking about Himachal, I'm glad he's talking about Himachal again and again. Mm. 
He forgets that just 15 days back, the Nigam to results of Himachal Pradesh were out and you were wiped out over there in Himachal, in Shimla Nigam Chunab. 34 seats may say, 24 Congress won and you were literally wiped out. So by saying that we did not fulfill the promises, we've just come to power. It takes time. We have to do the cleaning. You've left such a bad mess over there. It's going to take time. Pehle insecticide dalega, phir safai hoegi, bimari ko jad se nikalna padega, phir ilaj hoga. Ab I, and then he's talking about... Uh, एक एमएलए दलित तलित एमएलए के ऊपर छोड़ दिया the problem with your party is that you are absolutely against Dalits. And that you have proved by being against our uh, national president, Malika Arjun Kharge ji, who is a Dalit. You had a problem. Every minister went on record to make fun of and, you know, pass comments on a muffler that he was forgetting that the prime minister himself wears a suit over uh, priced at 10 lakh rupees, which is monogrammed with his name. He wears glass and glasses worth one and a half lakh rupees. And the home minister, in an interview where he declared that the prime minister's baate are all just jumla, 15 lakh sirf ek jumla tha he himself was wearing a gucci muffler and you went on to make fun and you know questioned ki kaha se aya just because our national president malika arjun kharge ji was a dalit so please do not talk about dalits and show this fake hypocrisy over here hypocrisy is thy name for the bhartiya janta party hmm. now coming back to what is going to happen who is going to be the face are we going to get more seats that there is going to be time on that and everybody like the congress is very clear all those parties who want to fight the corruption of the bhartiya janta party who want to fight the hatred politics of the bhartiya janta party who want to fight the religious divide that they bring and the halal haram and all these things that they bring up like burkha ki politics ye wo ek hafte bhar pehle one moment radhika kheda all these things were issues for various players in the opposition in 2015 also, in 16 also, in 17 also, in 18, 19, See, 22. You, these were the same know, issues and yet we saw a friction or a problem. See, I'll right? tell you. The answers, How do you then align yourself? See, the answer is coming from the people. Hmm. Jab note bandi hui. Prime Minister promised a lot of things. He went to Japan and he made fun that ki shadi ke paise nahi rahega. Still people voted for him. But now, see the change. They gave him that chance. Chalo, aapne shayad ek bar kar diya. Mm. But then they realize it's a habit of the Prime Minister and the Modi Sarkar to make fun and, you know, not handle situations. Now you have Mr. Satpal Malik who's come and told everyone when the army was, uh, when mm. our soldiers were asking for mm. uh, those planes, what the Bharatiya Janata Party okay. did, we lost okay. our people. Okay. And we continuously saw, we, we heard the mockery that yeah. they made. Uh, Sankhi, yeah, what, 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 Sankhi, uh, the, re the response will then be lost in the sure. day. I'll make but it quick. quickly, you know, because there are others also. I, I completely yeah. appreciate that and I'm yeah. very sorry, but 20 seconds, not yeah. more than that, if I'm not interjected. First, First of all, the Nagar Nigam did take place in Shimla. Himachal is not just Shimla. There are women outside Shimla oh. who are waiting for that 1500 rupees. Mm. And if, if winning elections is the basis, then what right do they have to ask us any questions? We won in 2014, 2019 handsomely. We won Gujarat, we won Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, North East. We won more elections than them. Dakshin then why are they Bharat asking Bharat us about so-called... So I did not speak. Yeah. 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 I did not speak. Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard her out entirely. Yeah. And whenever Congress gets exposed, ah. they start speaking between mm. me. I never do that. Oh. Yeah. Secondly, uh, she was concerned about the scheduled caste president that they have and she mm. said that we made fun of them. A person who has made the law minister Arjun Meghwal comes from the SC community. Twice he has been called disparagingly as Papad Mantri. Papad Mantri, Papad Mantri. He is from the Meghwal community of Rajasthan. A very proud, self-respecting Dalit community. And Ms. Radhika did not feel offended. And Mr. Uh, I understand Tiwari ji has a, a good degree. He's come from a great background. But Mr. Meghwal ji, as an IAS officer, retired and joined public service. So I take strong offense to a person from the Meghwal community of Rajasthan, the SC community, being called a Papad Mantri Bar Bar. Mm. And finally, we have given a prime minister who's a radio. They used to have five and a half CMs in Uttar Pradesh. Mm. You know who are the five CMs? And the half CM, I don't want to speak who she was. So let us not get into that. Mm. Corruption and okay. uh, hatred is the poli sure. policy. Corruption, there are ongoing corruption cases not quashed by the court by D.K. Shilkumar. Okay. Okay. Under okay. DK Shilkumar. Okay. Okay. Sure. So Ka I don't think we need lectures. Okay. And we Karthike. should not. We should have that statement withdrawn about Mr. Meghwal. I okay. strongly okay. I'll, I'll give him a no, right no. to reply. We Karthike. should hear this. We should hear this. What Mr. Meghwal is saying. And then let the viewers decide. Okay, the audio is not clear. Ye bolna ki papad ki wajay se hum corona se bachenge and you're saying that's an insult to every person who has lost their life during the corona. Somebody said impotency from the vaccine. Okay, one moment. Like, can we please come back? Anyway, this is not the issue. Yes, this is not the issue. This is the law minister, the country and not a man who is saying that we will fight corona with papad. One moment, please let me order, order in the house. Mr. Madhavan, coming back to the main core issue, do you think post the Karnataka victory, the Congress party now faces or has an opportunity in front 
Absolutely. of it and also a big challenge. No, I'm inspired by my politician friends sitting to oh. my right and left, and so let me start like and them and say center. that okay. in yeah. Karnataka, the significance <laughs> is that Congress emphasized on human development while BJP was emphasizing Hanuman development. Hmm. Okay, and then Congress built an Ahinda-based coalition of a rainbow coalition, which I call Satrangi, whereas BJP was stuck with Bajrangi. Hmm. So for in this whole colorful politics, the question to ask is, what is more relevant to Indians and to that extent Congress has proved the point mm. that real development happens at the grassroots and not in uh, TV debates or in colorful jumlas. Mm. But let me come to the other point. Uh, you know, somebody mentioned IUML and Ud Uddhav Thackeray being the uh, mm. partners for Congress. You know, after, after all, Ram, Lord Ram himself won the war against Ravan by partnering with Sugriva, who is a drunken king. And then also taking questionable means to kill Wali. Mm. You know, so our history and mythology are full of very strange twists. Now, let me come to the main point. You know, he talked about CAP competitive politics. My own idea of Congress is that it's CAP continuously aspirational politics. Mm. But having said that, let me take a dig at Congress. Congress, you mentioned appraisal and uh, KRA. Thank so you. let's use the corporate analogy. Congress is like a company which has a very good R&D department yeah. and also a very good marketing department, but it has a problem in HR. Mm. You know, people keep leaving, there's a high attrition rate, and people keep coming back, and you know, it's very confusing. Yeah. And even the CEO, who really knows, you know, people are going to and talking to an ex-CEO, because the, and who, after getting authorized by the ah. current CEO, so the <laughs> country, the company does have a management problem, yeah. and if the management problem is solved, then it can actually put its great product which has been developed in Karnataka through R&D. Mm. And you know, Chhattisgarh was a very good example. I mean, it was very illustrative to listen to Radhika. Yeah. So let's face it, Congressism has a strong socio-economic platform. Mm. But it has, this aspiration has become too much of, uh, you know, uh, one-upmanship. Yeah. And you know, the Congress needs a pilot and it's not Sachin. <laughs> Jayanta Ghoshal, I'll come to you. Yeah. Anti-Congressism mm. and anti-BJPism. Mm. This is the main polarization of Indian politics, mm. no doubt of it. So if you are against BJP, mm. you can abuse, you can blame, you can make complaint against BJP. Mm. But when you want to oust Modi, mm. you need coalition because Congress alone cannot from the government. No, but Jayam Sudha, see, if we talk the about, government, you, you, without you are Modi. talking about 2024. I am saying the three big challenges coming up. In fact, four big challenges if you include uh, uh, Telangana I also. I forget Mizoram. So, <laughs> so, yeah, and Mizoram. No, Sorry. but third force, where third force is not there. Because, you know, after the Karnataka victory, hmm. Congress is enthusiastic. Congress, I mean the get, the the workers. So there is no third impetus. force in Madhya Pradesh, but Chhattisgarh and no, Rajasthan. But but you know not this yet. this not act, yet yeah <laughs> yeah not yet. but not I don't know whether Mayavati will uh, put candidates in Madhya Pradesh or not. But she always you does. don't know no I Mayavati so, uh, BSP always has candidates in Madhya Pradesh and, and Rajasthan and, and, and lost also and last time she has come exactly. to a point she can't defend Bijnor come on um, yeah uh, Sanket, can I please come <laughs> in? Yeah, I've been waiting very patiently sure. but sure. Uh, so uh, two things right so we're building those 2024 I think that that was the main crux of this show right. Uh, so here are two very different things. One is about opposition unity. So I think we don't give enough credit to the fact that Congress's alliances with most parties are settled in most big states. Mm. Maharashtra, Jharkhand, Bihar, uh, Jammu Kashmir, Tamil Nadu. I don't think they have any problems because with therein... alliances. Yeah, mm. because therein the Congress and the partner's vote is not substitutable, it is complementary. Mm. Where do they have a problem? They have a problem in Telangana, Delhi, Punjab and uh, West Bengal. Because there the votes are substitutable. Mm. Those are the three factions that Mr. Nitish Kumar is trying to woo mm. very actively. You see, that's what's happening, right? Yeah. At the same time, what the Congress has now very clearly made it made clear is that it is going to stand for, this is from Mr. Narayanan's point, that social justice has become a major thrust of the Congress's campaign right now. And at least for the last few months, they've been carrying on. If they carry this on with consistency, at this point, they have a Dalit president, three OBC chief ministers, an upper caste chief minister. They have everything in terms of the social composition going. They can market this. Mm. At one point, if social justice becomes a major thrust 
of their whole campaign. And they've also asked for the caste based census, right? It will become increasingly difficult for the opposition parties to not join them. Mm. So there could be that angle as well. Mm. But at the end of it, I think if a credible challenge has to be mounted next year, mm. cooler heads, smaller egos will have to prevail in the opposition Where? camp. In the Congress or in the opposition? General opposition camp. I would say both Congress and other parties. Mm. No, 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 Sanket, one second. First of all, quickly, Karthik please. is very articulate, but he's got one thing fundamentally wrong. What? In Maharashtra, their alliance is absolutely not solidified. They fight daily. I don't think he's from Maharashtra. I am. Mm. On the Savarkar issue, they don't see eye to eye. There was a virtual split in the Mahavikas Agadi. In fact, everyone jokingly calls it Mahavichitra Agadi. And they're absolutely <laughs> wrong that their votes don't clash. In fact, mm. in fact, let me tell you, the Uddhav Sena faction does get a part of the NCP and the Congress vote bank, but it is not transferable back to them. That's an alliance the issue we also faced when we had an... Let me complete now. So their alliance in Maharashtra, for instance, is not settled. Maharashtra has the second largest number of MP seats after Uttar Pradesh, first of all. So it's completely wrong on fact. Secondly, let me tell you that uh, the template that Mamta Didi has said just now, that no-go zone for Congress where we are strong and wherever mm -hmm. Congress is strong, you fight there. Mm -hmm. Now, please tell me, according to that template, is con uh, Congress willing to give up Telangana? Thirdly, again, uh, Karthik gets it wrong that please understand, uh, as far as the social coalition politics is concerned, the first time a prime minister from the OBC community who continued to finish his first tenure and continue to his second tenure has been given by the BJP. The maximum number of SC, ST MPs come from the BJP. The maximum number of OBC uh, MPs come from the uh, ministers come from the BJP. Yeah, okay. On one yes. second, sir, let me complete. Uh -huh. Can I complete? On the caste census, right. on the caste census, the caste census, OBC caste census was done in 2011 and the Congress leaders, including Mr. Mr. Markan and others said that we will not release, release it. It is, uh, it is divisive. Mr. Chidambaram took that position. Mr. Khadge was recently asked about it. He had no firm answer as to why they did not release it. And the Supreme Court has now put a stay on it after uh, the matter went to the Bihar High Court. Please let me complete. Let mm -hmm. me complete in 20 seconds more. Uh, Madhavanji is right. The Congress is accept? like a company, yeah, yeah. except that it is a family limited company which has gone bankrupt. And therefore, except for the members of the family, nobody else gets to decide. Mr. Khadge himself, despite being the president, oh. doesn't have the confidence that he's the high command. And therefore, all of these, uh, I understand that all of these uh, uh, somewhat uh, vishleshans can be done, some out of objectivity and some out of uh, preferences. But all I'm saying, it should be rooted in facts. Okay, okay fine. No, no, so no, no I, have, I have a right to reply, Sanjay. Okay, okay, a sure, couple sure. of facts, right? I am not, con I am not in a confrontational mm. relationship with uh, Shahzad mm. and good luck to me on that. Uh, so I'm not saying that they're mutually exclusive, right? Mm. Second point that he raised. That no, you said their alliances are settled. No, wait, wait, wait. One, can one, I, can one, I, can yeah. I? Your second point, right? Mm. That OBC Prime Minister and so many rep so much representation in the cabinet. I'm not saying that the Congress is doing more than the B. I'm just saying that Congress is doing it. I didn't say the BJP isn't doing it. So you can compete on that, no, right? No, but on your first A, point, yeah, you coming, said coming, coming to that, settled. Coming to that. Are the seats in Congress are settled? Okay, can one, I, one. can I, Shazad, yeah. please? See, of course, in Maharashtra, whenever there are three parties, it won't be 100% settled, but it's not like say Uttar Pradesh. Now, I think Shahzad comes from Maharashtra, but from my understanding, at least regionally, it is very clear which party is strong it's in which area. It's not to the point where they're yes. separated. I'll tell That's you, Sanket, it's okay. very clear in Maharashtra, mm. whether Congress is strong, Western Maharashtra, Marathwada, NCP is strong. Mm. Along the Konkan coast, the Shiv Sena is strong. So, mm. at least you have a starting point there, that if it will happen, then we will know where we will start. That was my limited point. Now, if Shahzad expects me to only point out clean, glitchless alliances, hmm. then I don't think anybody can point to they any They're not alliances. even the BJP. No, they don't no, no, have no, any Now we're changing the goalposts. Yeah. He no, said no, that the alliances are very relevant point here. Yeah. 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 One, 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 one by one, please. Yes. Let me make a relevant so, point I, I, here. I, I'm yeah. amazed we have debated this entire topic for half an hour without mentioning Mr. Narendra Modi. Huh. We've achieved a near miracle. Of course, I mentioned I think it's very important to remember this. that opposition, Opposition, no, no in a manner of speaking, but yeah. we didn't go Modi, 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 whereas actually the opposition will be going as we go to the elections. Mm. Most important point is that in democratic politics, particularly of the current situation, opposition unity will be also determined by how much you want to desperately overthrow Modi. Can and I to that to extent, the will give and take will be much more than you think. Yeah. So that itself will become the big political no, glue. No, 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 no. Let's see. Removing you know what Madhavan no, is saying? I, 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 if I, I can sum it up in one line. What more? Can I sum it up in one line? What he said. Radhika Khera is right to reply. You have spoken. She will reply to everything. No? I have yes, to, I have I have right to, to give her right to reply. Yes, I have right to everything. Adhi abhadi, adha hak, hum ka hai, to hume Yeah, pankita datta pe lagu kar lo apni party. Pehle aap hamara hak to dijay. You promised that in your manifesto. Now coming to two very important things here. They are very bothered about our alliances. Since 2014, more than 16 partners have left the NDA. 
साइटिंग द फैक्ट कि आपने गठबंधन धर्म नहीं निभाया उसमें वो अलगावादी पार्टी भी है बीडीपी पीडीपी की जिनके साथ इन्होंने पाकिस्तान का धन्यवाद किया था चुनाव कराने को इंक्लूडिंग टीआरएस इन नाउ द भारतीय वट एवर इन पी आर एस देन यू हैव द शिवसेना विच दे ब्रोक and you have the shiromani akali dal which has forever been with them there are lots of other parties which have left them so please you first focus on apna ghar we'll do what we have sure. to do don't bother about us second thing he's talking about itne scheduled caste hai itne scheduled tribe hai itne obc hai please tell me how many muslims are there in the indian uh, government's cabinet today please tell us if you're talking about equal Allah. representation if you're talking about sabka saath sabka vikas how many muslims are there in modi ji's cabinet yeah. i would like to ask the bharatiya janata party uh, spokesperson he has an answer for everything please tell the Allah, nation sir. how many just just a simple answer कोई लंबी कहानी मत दीजिएगा गाथा मत दीजिएगा बस इतना बताइए आयरोनिकली शी वॉन्ट्स टू डिक्टेट जीरो डिक्टेट में आप नहीं देंगे ना इसलिए बताना देश को जरूरी है इट्स इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ चीफ मिनिस्टर्स दे हैव फ्रॉम मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी आफ्टर 1985 एक्सेप्ट जम्मू कश्मीर इट इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ स्टेट इट इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ स्टेट एंड नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट दे हैव गिवन टू द कंट्री अंडर द पार्टी आई हैव आफ्टर 1985 टू समथिंग लाइक नो सेकंड वन सेकंड माय आंसर गेट द आई हैव टू गो सेकंड यू गेट द कमेंट संकेत माय आंसर वाज गेटिंग मिस्टर माधव ने हैज सेड समथिंग व्हिच आई आई रियली डू नॉट लाइक एंड दैट इज नॉट द This is not the my format that can be drowned out. Her sawal is allowed, and yeah. my answer is drowned no, out. One moment, I'll come to you. You spoke so much, Shahzad. No, 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 no. One second. Okay. One second. 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 she was using essentially pdp as bjp's description and they were international you know, then not what what please one. this please country one. has a history oh. of the constitutional unity oh. based on article 370 that was a point hmm. so the, that's not the Why relevant point this is we are beginning answer. to sound like yeah. some other channels which Madhavan i don't like you are a, you are a political okay. analyst what, 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 not a political spokesperson no, 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 i would like i would like for the benefit of our viewers to return to the exactly of discussion I think which is he called the BJP as the old anti national i just told you that they are part of the bharat jodo as the opposition Bhupar. have a fighting I mean, sorry, chance in 2024 you an one moment please can See, you please Radhika, let me let me conduct this debate shahzad as well as radhika yeah. please please but you know, it is my request personal jives take place i take a spot but that doesn't mean i'll i'll be run over i'll also start running people over then you will have a problem ganjam tiwari as well as mr madhavan one by one please i think a powerful point that mr madhavan said that we discussed for around 40 minutes without mentioning modi and especially bjp geeta but both of them not mentioning modi hmm. that is powerful because the 2024 election is not about modi 2024 election is about the basic thing they don't have anything to offer to people they cannot they have not recognized for 10 years that unemployment is highest in india in their range hmm. they have not recognized that price rise is really hurting the poor hmm. and every report says that uh, that bottom 20 percentile but bottom 40 percentile they are losing money day in day out their their incomes have, have gone down there no saving to to look back on they will not leg offer legitimacy to the idea of harmony that india needs they will not offer legitimacy to the idea of federalism that india needs hmm. they don't want institutions to function hmm. so the 2024 agenda that various political parties are coming together is laid out for the people we hmm.
democracy bachao bjp bhagao these are okay. modi is not an agenda of 2024 because modi has nothing to i i i'll repeat india wants a prime minister we do not want a radio here is the thing, here is the thing mr gancham mm. do you feel that if according to you modi is not the issue then you will be able to go into campaigning for 2024 and the recent assembly elections that are going to take place without mentioning modi will karnataka this happen i don't think people were asking i mean you know people either you live in a world which is divorced from facts Mr. or you in fact yeah, checking the open opportunity i'll give me an opportunity i'll give you an opportunity mr yeah, yeah. i mean come on you see the problem sanket let's hear the problem the problem sanket is that you decide a topic we come and speak on the topic and then they make claims which are not true on the basis of facts when uh -huh. we fact check them then they say though but you've not spoken about modi but your topic was not about modi if uh -huh. it was about modi's achievements uh -huh. in 9 years i would have spoken about modi your topic was 2024 is the opposition getting together no, no, I think uh, but let me now come in when i said give me one line to paraphrase what madhavan was saying you stopped me hmm. and the idea i was trying to bring together was that they have no mission or vision for this country hmm. modi ji has taken the country from 10th economy to 5th economy hmm. he has given 12 crore people toilets and that sandra sultana and shilpa eat that he has given 80 crore ration madhav matthew and mohit the fact is that today we have 70 airports built in 70 years we have 70 more built hmm. we have doubled the number of highways this is what modi has done but they have nothing except for ambition for position they have nothing for except for division politics corruption and commission that is the glue on which they come together and abusing modi and that is why i kept this and i told you i wanted to paraphrase it but you did not give an opportunity but then i have to listen to people certificates being dished out as far as the muslim aspect is concerned please tell me gujarat has a population of about 10% muslims how many times has the congress party given 10% tickets to muslims in the last 50 years how many muslims have become the national president of the congress party muslims obcs scs to gather constitute 40 to 45% of this population how many prime ministers were from that community please tell me when they are talking about muslims how many chief ministers were muslims after 1982 83 except for the state of jammu kashmir made by the congress party you know when they I come here and they start okay. talking about this it is absolutely insulting i think sanket what okay. we have one more one line just one all line. of this could have been said without being so angry just yeah. i am angry yeah. at the conduct yeah. of this panel just, okay. just like okay. just yeah. one line you have awakened the congressman in shahzad huh. when he starts talking about how muslim leadership should be there how proportionate <laughs> this is what the question is but these questions we don't okay now last you know i don't think we need to talk about modi they are happy talking about shahzad okay that's the problem with this opposition bank club and denuded shahzad now you have spoken you cannot accuse your personal jail i think you that jail is much much more than mine professor bhat sakit i want to have the time to come ji you see last 3 minutes closing comments 2024 election is about the aspirations of the people of the india and they are going to whom are they going to look up to to see at the prime minister seat hmm. are they go, are can they visualize mr akhilesh yadav as being sitting there hmm. can they visualize mamta banerjee sitting over there can they visualize rahul gandhi sitting over there hmm. or can will they be visualizing narendra modi to be sitting in the chair of hmm. prime minister hmm. okay. that is something which okay uh, jayanto gosha hmm. just only uh, because i am not very keen to <laughs> talk when people talk hmm. only one thing hmm. adhir choudhury congress state president of west bengal and he yeah. is the lok sabha congress leader just after the karnatak victory he said on record that we taught lesson to bjp narendra modi on corruption and now our priority is to oust this corrupt mamta government from west bengal hmm. so this is the relationship of congress and mamta in west bengal communist and congress strong alliance although kerala hmm. congress and hmm. left are fighting hmm. akhilesh met mamta akhilesh also said hmm. that congress should not fight in up also where congress doesn't have that influence hmm. mamta said 200 seats congress should fight hmm. your subject is post karnataka can congress i'm saying is there a fighting chance in 2024 that is so yeah. if this is the opposition scenario of the opposition so you feel unity. that is it possible uh -huh. that kejriwal seven seats congress is ready how many seats to mm -hmm. compromise and in punjab so if you okay. want to I, oust I you. modi modi uh -huh. is a bad uh -huh. villain of this whole indian national politics uh -huh. but if you want to oust this villain of this country you have to be uh, a good coalition and okay. is there mood of that opposition unity okay okay let me Mr. put Mark. it very simply hmm. 
10 years have gone since Mr. Modi came to power. So a lot of voting will take place on performance and not on promise and personality. Mm. So the P, the first performance, will be, which is why Karnataka has gone the Congress way. So some of those issues will be very real. So the real issue is, Bharat aage bad gaya hai, kya Bharat vasi aage badhe hai ki nahi, mm. usi par vote dalega. So pitch opposition ke liye bhoat achha hai mm. for Congress. Mm. But pitch is not enough, you need players. Mm. Which is where I think the opposition needs uh, more of give and take. Right now, opposition unity is like a Rubik's Cube within a Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. You have uh, opposition parties are like f six sides of a Rubik's mm -hmm. Cube. And within that, Congress has its own internal Rubik's Cube. <laughs> so therefore, unless these people have intellectual leadership and not merely agenda, huh. intellectual leadership is what gives. Okay. BJP also doesn't have huh. it. That's a separate story. Mm -hmm. But Congress needs a certain clarity of mind huh. on how to give and take. And so does okay, the opposition. Okay. Right I now have, it is lacking. I have last two minutes and uh, let's take in closing comments. Ghansham Tiwari and then Kartike. Well, I think rather than imagining, imagining a perfect unity of opposition, look at the picture of opposition. In, in when BJP locked down the parliament, opposition was united because the nation wants parliament to function. They had a majority. The opposition is united when, when Prime Minister uses electrician podium to say Jai Bajrang Wali and people refuse to listen to him. The opposition is united in saying that the government should mm. focus on the concerns of people. No, no opposition leader, mm. even if they are at conflict, have called each other anti-Hindu, anti-national, anti-this. And this is the culture of BJP. This is what the Prime okay. Minister has done to the Chief okay. Minister. Kartik. This is the basis of unity sure, that will sure. emerge. So I think the BJP will try to do what ma'am was saying. They'll try to make the election about the Prime Minister, his face, his integrity. The opposition's best bet would be to bring it to issues. Mm. And as Sir was saying, it is true it's been 10 years. So while Mr. Modi has done as Prime Minister a lot of things that as Shahzad was counting, I won't be as animated as he was, mm. but a lot of disservice, public disservice delivery has happened at the grassroots, financial inclusion has happened, a lot of good things have happened. At the same time, can the opposition bring forth an even more aspirational agenda mm. that balances the aspirations mm. of different mm. levels okay. and thereby constructs, constructs a narrative that is based on issues not face? Because then when okay. it's an issue-based agenda, yeah. then as I said, a lot of the parties won't my, have an option but is, to join that is coalition. This, is this wishful thinking as far as Karthika Patra is concerned? I, I, I don't think, Sankit, okay. because we've forgotten that yeah. before 2014, we've had a lot of issue-based okay. elections. Okay, okay. 30 seconds each to Radhika and then... I'm sorry, I, I deserve more time. So I only uh, have this much time. What so, do I do? So the thing is, if you have noticed, ever since the... Um, opinion poll came out for the Karnataka, mm. for Karnataka. There has been a big strategy change in the Bharatiya Janata Party. They do not talk about the Prime Minister. They don't talk about Modi ji ne ye kya. And like you said, there was not one time that Shahzad or Ma'am spoke about Narendra Modi ji. Because this time they're not going to ask on votes uh, based on Modi ji ne ye kya. Because mm. wo hai na, ki jeet to Modi, as, Modi. As he, no, one moment. Jeet. As he said, the yeah. program is about no, fighting no, chance for not. 2024. Uh, then has, whatever oh. the debate may be, whatever the topic mm. may be, the BJP does not falter mm. at taking Modi ji's name. They always take Modi ji's Okay. for everything huh. so it's good because the reason being ki haar hoti hai to wo jp nadda jp nadda hai jeet hoti hai to wo modi modi hai okay. and karnataka has but you isn't that really true for, for the congress everything. party also that if there will no, be no. haar it will be someone rahul else's gandhi responsibility was, rahul gandhi ji took responsibility huh. of the lok sabha defeat and congress okay. party gives uh, like we give the okay. credit of sure. the loss of the win sure. also last, to every worker to the to highest Kunawar. person in the party. Shahzad, last word. Some people believe in sticking to the topic of the mm -hmm. debate and mm -hmm. not diverting to 15 other places. But if you wanted me to speak about the nine years achievements, I'd mm -hmm. be happy to do that. Mm -hmm. Having said that, there are three things. Here you have somebody who said we came together when parliament was allegedly locked down. Then you all should have stuck together and voted for the vice president candidate Margaret Alva. Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. Anyways, leave that. Then they say that, uh, you know, there's so many points that they keep making which are not true on the factual analysis. But Ma Ma Madhavanji calls himself Madversity on Twitter. Even in adversity, he's their best friend. Madhavanji, are you thinking that people of Rajasthan are not voting on the performance of the government of Rajasthan? Or people of Himachal have given up on the promises Since that the Congress made? One second, sir. No, one second. And if we are being judged on our performance, of course we are being judged on our performance. That's why we got voted into power in 2019. And I'm sure you would remember that in 2018, after they won three or four state elections, three state elections, this was the entire same narrative. You said that now to Modi ka time khatam, Modi gaya, performance pe vote hone wala, and we won. In 2019. Now, you might say that that was not the issue. And finally, dear friend, uh, or I don't know if he considers me, Gansham Tewari, said that we don't call people anti-national, anti-Hindu, anti that. In this panel, in front of you, she called her Bharat Jodo Yatri, PDP and anti-national. Now, if we live in a world divorced from facts, 
then in that case you okay. have an alliance that yeah. doesn't exist. Okay. It's Let as me make, mythological okay, okay. Since I was as their uh, uh, proof, as yeah. their consistent Ten seconds. Seconds. Please, Ten yes. seconds for me. Yeah. It's very simple. Uh, Indian voter, the average Indian voter, hmm. is, will fo focus on lived experiences, not on claimed performances. Hmm. So yes. that, that is where 2024 election becomes very important. Hmm. Because it's not about highways and airports, it's also about what does it mean for me, mm -hmm. for the average Indian, okay. and that will be a key factor. Okay, all right. Thank and, you very much. And, I've run out and, of time. And, and a credible oh. agenda. Of okay, your credible agenda. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, interesting discussion. And we'll have many more of such discussions in the build-up to the various state assembly elections and also the big contest of 2024. Thank you so much for watching The Big Fight. News continues on India.